With COVID-19 cases confirmed on both sides of the southern border, some city leaders in both the U.S. and Mexico have decided to join forces. Tonight, we're taking a look at how officials with the city of Del Rio have been communicating with their Mexican counterparts while responding to this pandemic. Tiffany Huertas with how they're trying to make sure citizens of both countries are staying safe. We, we share culture, we share uh, businesses, we share almost everything. Whether it's for family reasons, business, or just to visit, People are constantly traveling through the ports of entry along the U.S.-Mexico border. When you're living on the border, it's just one community. The mayor of Del Rio says people are constantly commuting from Ciudad Acuña in Mexico to Texas, and communication with Mexican officials is crucial during the coronavirus pandemic. The concern was definitely on both sides because while we were beginning to report cases, they, they began to show concern as, well, well, do we need to shut down the port of entry for, for entry into Mexico? There are two international land border crossings in Del Rio, the Del Rio International Bridge and Amistad Dam International Bridge. The Amistad Dam International Bridge is temporarily closed, and the Del Rio International Bridge has been limited to essential travel because of the pandemic. Some essential travel includes U.S. citizens and lawful permanent residents returning to the U.S., people traveling for medical purposes, and people traveling to work in the U.S. We've been in communication with our port director on both sides to, to monitor traffic, inbound and outbound traffic. Agustin Angeles with the Consulate of Mexico in Del Rio says in March they began communicating with city officials about the coronavirus pandemic. On March 13 was the first time the emergency team from the city of Del Rio uh, reached to us asking for a meeting with health authorities in, in Acuña. The first matter on the agenda was pretty simple, was to prevent the propagation of false information of COVID positive cases crossing the border. Angeles says they distributed information on social media platforms. Currently, there are 14 confirmed coronavirus cases in Ciudad Acuña and 13 confirmed cases in Valverde County. The mayor of Del Rio says after speaking with state leaders, the message was clear. We really need to ensure that we're communicating with our Mexican counterparts that continuity doesn't end at the Rio Grande. It continues as far as the trade and families and, and the virus spread. We need to really take that in consideration. For The Nine, Tiffany Huertas.